Hey everyone, we just came back in. We've been fishing for a day and a half. Uh, I do want to take a little bit of time and show you guys our new boat, new used boat. Uh, this is a 2019 Carolina Skiff. It's an 18 foot JVX. Uh, we just got in off the water. It's uh, white capping even right here off the boat launch. Just super windy conditions. We've had it rough the last day and a half, but uh, storms gonna come in overnight. Um, supposedly, it's blue skies now, but they're supposed to whip in overnight and then hopefully it clears up a little bit tomorrow and we can get something done. Um, Vicki did catch her, uh, uh, we got our first fish put on the boat today. Uh, first fish was a real big old oyster toad fish she caught and then the next fish was a flounder. So uh, she put the first fish on the boat today. Um, but anyway, I will take a minute to show you the boat. So the boat, the trailer, amazing. Uh, when we got it, I really love the trailer. All the lights work good. It's got the flat four on it, which was good with the vehicle that we have, one of the two vehicles that we have. Uh, we'll have to buy a pickup truck, something good to tow it. But uh, it had the spare wheel up underneath here, flat, um, and the boat would hit the spare tire before it would hit the rollers. Um, it had these real big rollers, these Stoltz rollers, but it didn't have the inside rollers. It was crushed closer together, and it would hit that tire before it would come up on the roller. So I moved the tire and put it out here in the front, and uh, I like it a lot better right there. And then I put Stoltz rollers on the inside to widen it out to the big rollers uh, and took that, there was some cheap stuff on the inside there. The little three inch roller on the inside was really cheap. So now it's all good Stoltz stuff right up underneath. I had to shorten the security chain. The strap was dry rotted and the hook on the strap was rusted. So I got us a new, brand new strap put on there. I really like it. One of the things that was a big selling point for me in the boat is the fact that it's got a Minn Kota Tarova on it. Uh, it's not, ain't got the longest shaft in the world, but this boat doesn't sit very high up out of the water. Uh, the gunnels ain't super high, and the front of it's not super high off of it. Uh, this boat will run in skinny water. It can, it can supposedly run in, uh, you know, four-inch draft. So uh, it's made for skinny water, fishing the inlets and, and, and inlands, um, you know, uh, inshore or near shore, which is what I was really looking for. Um, I'm always going to be erring on the side of caution with this boat. But, uh, so... Uh, it's got a couple fishing seats in it. I really like that. It did not have any anchor set up at all. It does not have an anchor locker in the front. It had no anchor cleat. I had to put an anchor cleat on it, and I had to put up, uh, I put another shackle thing right here to for the anchor point, uh, which would normally be found inside of an anchor locker. And I'm just using one of the storage sides uh, as an anchor locker on it. Um, and the other I use for storage. I bought one of these uh, loose bags, waterproof bags. It keeps all the essentials for the boat in it, and it actually just fits inside that that small locker on the other side it's got dual batteries in the front uh, which you know your charging panel and everything uh, to, to run the electronics and such on the front I really like that um, it did not have any rod holders on it with the exception of what is on the t-top sure you can see the t-top up here um, so that was the only rod holders it had it had nothing on the gunnel and that that's a that's not gonna work for me <laughs> so uh, so I put rod holders in on it. It did have the cleats and the little rings, um, which I'm using to hold rod leashes. So I put four rod holders like this that are totally adjustable. They'll adjust up, adjust out, uh, lay down. I mean, that, these are really cool rod holders. My uh, my buddy Walt has them on his boat. It was the first time I ever seen them. He has them on his Carolina Skiff, which is a much larger boat than this one. But he had these rod holders and I fell in love with them while we were black drum fishing here earlier in the year. Um, I put some stickers on the boat. Uh, put tarp in here. I don't think anything can make me more excited than seeing a tarpon jump out of the water. Second, a close second, tailing redfish, man. That's something we can see around here. Tailing redfish really gets me excited to fish. So I put a couple stickers on. I'll show you some more I have on the other side. But uh, I had to clean up some stuff up in here. Of course, get the registration on it. And uh, we've got a cooler underneath to put fish. It's just nothing for fish, but for fish we're going to keep. I got a bait cooler, and then I got another cooler that has all of our... Uh, uh, drinks and, and snacks and stuff like that if we need to keep refrigerated. Of course, got my fishing bag. Got the smaller net with us because I don't figure we're going to do anything for Kobe. I really wanted to get her on Spay Fish's trip. If it lays down tomorrow, I'm going to, again, I'm always going to err on the side of caution, but I might push out and try to get to where we need to get to for Spay Fish. Love to see her catch one, another flounder, maybe a couple Spay Fish. That'd be a successful trip to me. But uh, got the T top, love that. I put a T top bag up in there. Uh, the T top bag holds all of our. Uh, I've got a couple bilge pumps in there. I've got uh, our life jackets in there. Uh, it's got our uh, first aid kit on one side. I mean, it has all kinds of stuff on the pouches on the inside here. It's got our lights. 
to put our, our navigation lights. I keep underneath of it on the mesh. That's really cool. I love that T-top bag. I think it's really, really cool. Uh, so it's got a, a swim ladder, which I have used. That thing's long enough. I can literally just come off, even if we're in super deep, rough water and I'm getting hot, which I was yesterday. I just come off and just dunk myself on the back and just cool off. It's really neat because uh, it's three runs down. It's pretty, pretty good. Uh, 70 horsepower Suzuki. First time I ever started it, boom, cranked right up. We took it around the lake back home. Thing ran like a charm. I had all the confidence, confidence in the world of bringing it out here um, with how it is. The thing, every time I, I crank it, it starts. It's running great. Super happy. The guy that owned this boat before us really had to take some good care of it. Had to replace the license plate, plate bracket on the back. Of course, got our own license plates put on it. Um, that's one of the other things I had to do with it. I put boat buckles on the back. I took the regular straps, which are kind of a pain, a little bit. You gotta lay down on the ground and fold everything up into the straps and all that stuff. So now I got boat buckles, which retract. Retractable, retractable boat buckles. Those things are super nice, quick and easy to use in the back. Uh, yeah, remember to pull. I always gotta remind myself about the plug. Plug is the first thing you put in and something you always wanna make sure you take out. Um, but yeah, on this side of the boat, you'll see I've got uh, Another sticker here, Skiff Life, because that's what it's all about for me, man. I love this Carolina Skiff. It's going to be Skiff Life for us. Um, and, uh, of course, we got the Redfish sticker there as well. And then in the front, I've got a sticker here. And a uh, co-captain's chair, you know, Vicky, Vicky's chair. I've got the Bite Me, little hook with a Bite Me on it. But, uh, yeah, the boat runs like a charm. The, all the lights are working great on the trailer. Uh, you know, it's... One of, the, one of the things I really like is I have four rod holders here and I also have a rod tree in the back so I can actually run six, six uh, rods if I want to or I can spin it this way and just run a rod over the uh, the engine. So this rod tree rod holder is really cool here back at, you know, on the pedestal pole for the back seat. Um, it, it's really nice. I really like it a lot. Those rod tree products are really, really, really cool. Um, got a little mesh deal here that I can put stuff in if I need to. It came with the boat. Uh, it's got storage up underneath here. I have a uh, plastic rubber-like uh, bucket up in there next to the battery that actually starts the engine. Uh, so I keep everything nice and dry up in there. Um, it's got two live wells. It's got a live well underneath the seat here. It's got another live well, which we have gudgeons in right now. Uh, I'm going to be releasing some of these here in a minute and setting some fresh traps. But we got some gudgeons down in here. Uh, but uh, so yeah, uh, really happy with the boat so far. So far, another big selling point for it is Minn Kota is and, and Hummingbird are uh, the same company. Um, so it's got a Hummingbird Helix Nine on it. Uh, it's a Generation Three, so it's a really cool, uh, really cool uh, uh, depth finder, fish finder, um, you know, uh, side scan, all that kind of good stuff. I want to get Mega Live. I'm gonna be saving up money over the winter, winter to get Mega Live. I really want to have Mega Live. Uh, put on here. I'll actually set up a whole other uh, monitor and set up Mega Live. Um, that'll be a game changer for us out here. Uh, that's what all the boat captains that are really being successful is using. It's some kind of a live scan like that. But uh, so yeah, you know, I'm, I've got a few things left to do. I do have a, a guide system I need to put on. I also have a keel guard I'm gonna put on the front. It's gonna be black, so it's gonna look kind of neat. It's gonna scent the front of it. Uh, I like the black against the tan. So I got a black keel guard I'm gonna be putting on it. It's at the house waiting for me to do it. That's gonna be a, a pretty good project. And then I'm gonna put the, the guide poles on it as well uh, just to help getting it up on the trailer. Vicky and I's got a really good system now with about a 15 foot uh, dock rope and she's doing really good at, at helping me with the dock line and all that stuff. I've got this set up here. Um, so yeah, this, this is our boat. This is the Hodgepodge Outdoors boat. Uh, we do have a 14 and a half foot Monarch, which is owned by Sea Art. Uh, it's saltwater worthy. Uh, it's got a 25 horse Merc on it back home, but it needs some work. I'm gonna start fixing it up. First thing it needs is a new trailer. But uh, now that I got this one, once I get it about right, which I'm almost there, I'm gonna start setting that one up good as well as a backup boat. And uh, uh, yeah, this is gonna be my my inlets, my inshore, my uh, not too far out in the bay, behind the Barrier Islands, uh, all that kind of good stuff. Noose River, all that kind of good stuff. Uh, I'm gonna enjoy this boat. You know, we got several trips planned still yet this year uh, after this one. Um, multiple trips to the news for me. And Vicky will be down there as well. I don't know if I'm gonna take the boat on that. It's gonna be land-based mostly, but I might. Um, it's nice to have that as an option. But anyway, I just wanna show you guys our boat. 
hopefully we can get some good content on this boat for you guys and uh, uh and girls and hopefully we can uh you know catch a bunch of good fish and uh uh for y'all's entertainment and you know really appreciate y'all uh uh, watching the video if you haven't already please subscribe to the channel um, and uh, if you like looking at the boat and, and knowing that we got this for us to have a good time but also to get contact content for you guys for the channel uh, you know please hit that subscribe button for hodgepodge outdoors we also have a Facebook group uh, it's got almost 5,000 members uh, and uh, you know it's hodgepodge outdoors on Facebook so uh, anyway thanks again for watching uh, tight lines stay safe out there Yeah, the old girl cleans up really nice. It's the first time I've washed it since buying it. I gotta take it and of course I gotta bilge everything out of it, but I've washed it from top to bottom. Everywhere I found a speck of rust, I got rid of it. With navel jelly and uh, flushing the engine now. And she is clean as a whistle. Only got 53 hours on that motor. Starts every time and real quiet in the water. Glad to have it clean.